I am booting into a text mode version of Slitaz. It is 8 megabytes, loads to RAM, runs very quick. Uh, and what we're going to look at today is uh, manually partitioning the hard drive for installs. Um, so once we're done booting here, it's going to give us two menus, one asking language. I'm going to choose English. And I am in the US. I'm going to hit end and go down to the very last option, which is USA for my keyboard mapping. Uh, I am going to log in as root with the default username and password root root. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, use fdisk and I'm going to show it to where my hard drive is. My hard drive is HDA, uh, so hard drive A. Uh, in some machines it may be STA depending on your connections on your hard drive. Uh, if you have more than one hard drive, the letters go up. HDB or SDB alphabetically like that. Uh, but you know your system better than I do and uh, just uh, make sure you know a little bit about hard drives uh, or you know that you have everything backed up just in case you choose the wrong option. But fdisk forward slash device forward slash your hard drive device. Enter there. Uh, so now we're inside fdisk. You can hit M to bring up a menu and we're going to choose P which is, shows us the partition table. And currently I have three partitions, um, HDA1, partition 1, which is formatted for Linux already, um, and then the second two partitions is actually just for our swap space, which is good, and we're going to leave that on there. Um, what I am going to do, though, is I'm going to hit D for delete, and I'm going to hit enter. It asks me which partition, and I'm going to choose my primary, primary partition 1, enter, and at this point, no changes have been made until we hit W for write. I'm going to hit enter, and it writ, wrote it. <laughs> and now if I run fdisk forward slash device HDA1 or HDA again, this time I can hit P for partition table. And you can see that far first partition has been removed. Uh, now you can do the rest of this without hitting write. I like to break it down to write, make the changes, then go back and make my other changes. So that's what we're going to do now. We are going to hit N for new. Hit enter. We are going to make a P for primary partition and we are going to put it primary partition 1. Enter. Now it's going to ask us uh, basically the size of the hard drive. You want to go from 1 uh, is the beginning of the hard drive which is great so you can choose where in the hard drive you want it. We're going to choose 1 and if you just hit enter here it will use up all the empty space from the beginning of the hard drive to that next partition there. Um, but you can also do something like plus 10 M and it will go 10 megabytes or you can do kilobytes uh, but we're just going to use the entire space so I'm just going to leave it blank and hit enter and if we hit W we can write that partition uh, so now if we go back into F disk and we hit P you can see that that Linux partition is back there, but it is not formatted yet. So let's hit Q to get out of that, and we have to format it. So we're going to make a file system. So MK for make, F for file system, and right here we have options for ext2, ext3, 4, and ext4 device. I'm not sure what that is. But uh, by default, the Slitaz installer wants to go with ext3, which is great. But older machines, ext2 supposedly is better. So that's why we are manually partitioning. This, that's one of two reasons you may want to manually partition that I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, let's start this process up. So make fs.ext2 forward slash device or dev forward slash hda1 because we're formatting partition one. We're going to hit enter there. It's going to start doing that. Um, but two reasons off the top of my head that you would want to manually partition is one, you may want your home directory as a separate partition so that way you can create two partitions the way we did. Um, obviously not using the full space but putting in I want primary partition one to be a hundred megabytes and partition two to take up the rest and then you can say home directory for one and uh, root partition for another. Um, another reason is, as I said, older machines, ext2 may be better, but the default installer wants to go ext3. So at this point, we can say uh, Slitaz installer, hit enter. We're going to do an install. It's going to look for the CD, make sure you have the CD-ROM in the drive. And then it asks where you want to save it to. We already know that it's 
device HDA1 will be our primary heart partition there. Hit enter. Now it says, do you wish to format as EXT3? We already partitioned it and formatted it as EXT2, so we can hit no at this point. Uh, we are not going to have a separate home directory, but you can if you'd like. We're just going to leave that blank. OK, host name, uh, root password. I will leave as root for these tutorials. And uh, I will leave the default user as uh, tux. Well, we'll make it metal, metal for the password. And confirm this information. It's preparing it. It does not need to format it, so it goes a little bit quicker the install than if you did have to format it, because we've already done that. Now it's cleaning the partition, extracting the kernel, and now we'll extract the root directory from the CD onto that partition. Got that same error I got in the last tutorial, but everything seems to work fine. Uh, do you install grub? Yes. Should take a second to install Grub, which is the bootloader, and we will reboot. It's unmounting the CD-ROM and would eject it if I actually had a physical CD-ROM, but I'm running in a virtual box. And now it should restart the machine. And I'm going to hit whatever keys I need to hit, but it's different for each machine to boot from the hard drive. There we go. We can hit enter there, or it would default since it's the only install of Linux or operating system on the machine right now. Decompressing the kernel, it will extract it. Uh, loading up Linux should take just a few seconds. I will hit English USA. We booted in six seconds there. I can say metal, metal, because that's the user I created. And now you have an install with a customized partition and so let's uh, visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this, and I hope you have a great day.